So we are going to calculate the um, delta H at the very beginning. So first we have to understand that the uh, delta H has a formula which is the heat of formation and it is the sum of the heat of formation of the product minus the sum of heat of formation of the reactant. Now there are two options, but I uh, you can either do it separately or you can do it all together in one single step. But here I would like to break it down so you will see it much in a much clear manner. So I will calculate the um, the heat of formation of the product first. So here you see we have only one product on the right hand side which is 2HF and is in gas form. So when I look at my table which will be given okay, and I will go to HF and look for the column which is delta H and go to HF and right here. I see negative 268.61 so that's the value I'm going to use so let me use parentheses negative 268.61 and the unit which is given on the table is kilojoules per mole and uh, don't forget that we are taking care of the coefficient by multiplying it in terms of mole in the beginning. So what happened is the mole here is going to be cancelled out. And when we calculate that in the calculator, you should get negative 537.22 kilojoules. Now make sure you include the unit. This is very important and I'm going to do the same for the reactant and we have two reactants which is hydrogen gas and fluorine gas so the values that I get on a table for hydrogen gas is zero kilojoules per mole and we have one mole of that even though it's zero we know that it's going to multiply and get you zero. I want to show you the clear step that we are including the coefficient. And then we add since this is the sum of the reactant. So one mole, okay, from foreign gas. And I look at the table and it also it the value is also zero kilojoules per mole. And uh without using a calculator hopefully you should get zero kilojoules make sure you write units now how come these two gases are zero are they in coincidence no for all the purest uh, pure substances with only one element if they are the most stable form they would have a unit of or uh, they would have the value of zero and now we have calculated the delta uh, but the the heat of formation of the product and the heat of formation of the reactant then we can make use of this equation and do our calculation let me move up a little bit minus zero kilojoules now it's just a coincidence that the reactant has a value of zero kilojoules it is not uh, it's not the same for other cases. It may be some other non-zero values. And here, the calculation is very simple. It's going to get you negative 537.22 kilojoules. Okay.